I'm used to having a band on stage when I'm out here. It's just a little bit different for me. So we're going to talk about uh, the impact of my dad, Willie Mitchell's music on popular music down through the generations. So first we're going to start with a short little video clip of his upcoming documentary called Solid Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, Willie Mitchell and his high recording band. first time that I saw Willie, I can't tell you what effect that had on us. He was the Memphis sound, the very start of it. The voicing and the style of playing and the groove, you know, it was just more funky and you know, stripped down and in your face, you know. Willie's mark is everywhere in Memphis. And here again, that translates to so much of the music that we all love, so much of this popular music that Willie had a hand in. And that's why he is in everybody's home, but he's not a household name. Ah, so in love. So Willie Mitchell's music has been sampled over 600 times. There's been countless amount of artists that have um, either redone music that he's produced or even his uh, instrumentals, that's been sampled several times too. So one of the, the young men in the video, Don Nix, um, is from the Marquis and he basically goes on to say in the interview that the Marquis, which was one of the premier artists on Stax, they were going to be a, a rockabilly band until they snuck into Danny's Club in, <coughs> in West Memphis in the mid-50s and saw the Willie Mitchell combo, and they traded in their stringed instruments for horns, and he basically said that they, you know, took Pop's dance moves, the horn licks, and you know, that became the early Memphis sound. So I'm going to play some music that you can hear the Willie Mitchell influence. This record is a Willie Mitchell instrumental called Stone Face that came out on his album That Drive and Beat in 65. <laughs> And then this is Otis Redding and Carla Thomas. Same look. <laughs> so Pops went on from developing the Memphis Sound in the 60s, which translated to music at high records and stacks and all over the city. And he was always uh, trying to innovate. So eventually when he met Al Green, he wanted to change the music up. So he worked a lot with Al Jackson Jr. to develop a, a different beat. And one of their signature beats that they developed was to put a, a tom or a conga on the snare hit and nobody had really done that before so you can hear it in I'm so in love with you and you can also hear it in this one is a maybe more prominent. That was a production technique that was invented by Willie Mitchell and used by other artists in the 70s, such as the Spinners. Mm 
Wait for it. And also one of my favorite artists of all time, who actually wrote a song for Al Green, but he didn't use it, Stevie Wonder. So that's some of the production influence that pop had on popular music. Then coming up to, you know, the 80s, his music was covered by artists such as Talking Heads. Tina Turner did two Willie Mitchell songs when she kind of came out of retirement in, in the mid 80s. Um, and it kind of brought us to the 90s and there's groups like the Wu-Tang Clan that use this Willie Mitchell sample. Now, this is one of Pops' instrumentals called uh, Grooving, and it was used, God, I think Wu-Tang used it on about five different records. <laughs> <laughs> Then later in the 90s and all the way up, man, they're still using this next one. Pop had this, produced this record on Al Green called I'm So Glad You're Mine. And to date, it's been, the beat has been sampled over 150 times. So just that little drum beat has been used by Notorious Big, Rick Ross, Kanye West. The list is e extensive. Now this next one I'll play, this is a little out of timeline order, but it's something my sister and I just kind of recently discovered. And so I want to play a little bit of Willie Mitchell's That Driving Beat uh, from 1965. And then I'll play another song to see if you can hear the influence. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> so you might have heard that lick in... Uh <laughs> <laughs> so that's real interesting. Uh, so the last one, which kind of brings us to a, a, a kind of current hit, which is, uh, I'd say, heavily influenced by this record that Pop did on Al Green for the good times. similar to this <laughs> Thank you so much. Willie Mitchell still, he influences everything I do, and obviously 